Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or even if you haven't been here yet, my name is Brecht and I create videos around digital storytelling for small businesses, medium-sized businesses and entrepreneurs and everybody who wants to create content for these businesses. In today's video I wanted to talk about social media goals, setting social media goals and social media strategy. Um, and uh, first off, I want to start with why you might have been looking for this video. You might be frustrated that your social media is not going the right direction. You don't get more followers, you don't get the likes that you want, you don't get the engagement that you want. And that's why you are looking for a video like this, I assume. I think that is a good idea that you have been looking for this and I could give you a lot of generic tips about social media strategy that you can apply and then uh, after a couple of months you might still not have grown and the main reason for that is already my, my first tip in this video is to think about your business. What does your business look like? What does your business model look like? And most importantly, what are your business goals? What do you want to achieve with your business? Because a social media strategy is only there to support your social, your business goals. Your business goals, you want to attain them by multiple uh, things. Well, uh, marketing is much larger than only social media. You might be doing brochures, you might be doing Google AdWords, your website, you want to attract people to your website. Um, you also want to have word of mouth. So there are so many ways into getting people towards your goals. Uh, but actually social media is only part of the support to gain your business goals. So have you been thinking about your business goals when you are thinking about your social media channels? Because your social media should really support your business goals. And let me give you an example. If you have a small local business, you don't have an online shop, what would be the best post that you can get? One where five people from the neighborhood have commented or one where you have hundreds of likes and maybe 50 people have commented, but all of these people didn't live in your neighborhood. Yes. Maybe the post with only five likes might be better for your business because these five people are more likely to stop by your shop. So if you are only chasing the numbers of likes, uh, followers and engagement and not really thinking about if these people are the right audience for attaining your business goals, then you are not Imply, imply, applying the right social media strategy. So before starting to post any social media posts, think about your business, think about your business goals and, and think about how your social media posts can support your business. And then something that might be very frustrating is that you are posting so many posts and you don't really know what works, what doesn't work. Um, and maybe the reason why you don't know why things don't work is because you're not setting goals for your social media post itself. I think when you're setting goals for your social media, before uh, setting goals for your social media platforms, set goals for the individual posts that you are, uh, are doing. And then maybe have uh, these are more short term goals and then maybe long term goals are more about your platform. So a good social media post is thinking about what do you want to achieve with the social media post. So if you are putting online a picture of your store, what do you want to attain with that post? Do you want to attract people towards your shop? Do you want people to like it? If you have something that has to do with the neighborhood of your company do you want to engage the neighboring uh, the neighbors of, of your company so really think about this post that I'm posting what do I want to attain with it is it going to help me gain my business goals so whenever you have figured out what you want to achieve 
with this social media post then make a goal for it and make it a smart goal and smart stands for specific measurable attainable relevant and time-based so make a very specific goal that is measurable measurable for instance i want to achieve 10 likes that's specific and very measurable it's also attainable because 10 likes isn't that much maybe if you have i just started your page 10 likes are is still a bit too high but 10 likes should be attainable uh, for almost every business then also may, make sure that it's a relevant goal because you thought about what you want to attain and is this goal that you're setting is it measuring what you want to attain if you want to get people towards your store then likes might not be the most interesting goal then think about how many people you want to have the next day in your store and then time based because you can you should also think about in what amount of time you want to achieve those 10 likes so for instance uh, the smart goal for this example is i want to achieve 10 likes in the next three hours so that is a smart goal that you can set and if you set smart goals for every social media post or almost every social media post then you can go into the analytics of facebook of instagram and think and see and and get to know if you attained your goal and then afterwards the most important part of doing social media is analyzing your social media post and looking if you attain that smart goal so you go into analytics afterwards and you can see did i get 10 likes in three hours if not then you have to think about why is that was my goal that i set was it attainable did i set goals that i couldn't attain uh, was it maybe the picture that I didn't uh, say the thing that I wanted to say? Was it maybe the copy above or uh, below the image that didn't get me to attain? So in this way, you can get to measure and get to know why your social media posts are not getting your social media strategy point. And if you also think about this and write this uh, analysis down then you can get to become better and better in your social media and then for your platform like i said also create some um, some smart goals for your platform for instance you want a smart goal for your channel for your facebook page maybe a smart goal could be that you want to get 100 more followers in the next month that is specific measurable it's attainable it's relevant and it's time based so in this way you can track what you're doing you can an 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 analyze if the things that you're doing if you're getting success from the things that you're doing and you can learn how to become better and always when you're thinking about small goals and your social media post is to think is this going to help my business goals and is it something that i should be worrying about to get more likes or is it more getting people towards the shop and that's it for this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you want to have more videos about social media storytelling here's the next video and i will see you there bye